guys, Dmoz Gaming and Things here, back with another video. So I went out today, went to all the local collectible stores, guys. I found some cool comic book stores. Um, some definitely some big time Magic the Gathering, Dragon Ball Z collectible type stores. Just some local shops, you know. I really wanted to get out and support the local business owners. Unfortunately, I didn't find much Pokemon, but I was able to pick up a couple epic finds I would like to share with you guys. So for the first find, guys, went to this place called Mad Hatters. Big time Magic the Gathering collectible storefront, host tournaments. They actually do Pokemon tournaments too. They didn't have much product for Pokemon, but he did hook me up with one of the pieces he did have, which was this Tag Team Generations box. I thought this was actually pretty cool. Comes with the Charizard and Brakeson card, the big jumbo card as well. Multiple Unbroken Bonds and Unified Mind, mind Packs, guys. I haven't had this in my collection, so this is definitely a nice addition. Super minty, very awesome shape, you know. Better, better than any shape you could get off Amazon, but oh, for sure this is a very nice addition, guys, to the set. Comes with that big giant tag team play mat as well. Probably won't open it. I don't know. We may. But yeah, so that was the first thing I found at Mad Haters. Mad Hatters. Mad Hatops. Mad Hatters. Mad Hatters. But yeah, I did go to Star Comics as well. Not very much into comic books too, too crazy. But man, they had some awesome Marvel stuff, guys. If you're a Marvel fan, this place was legit. And I love talking to the local store business owners, man. They're so cool. So I had every place I went, I had to pick something up, guys. And I was able to pick up one of these right here, those pop series, uh, Charmander one right there, number 455. So that's cool. I'm definitely gonna add a Squirtle one and I believe the Pikachu one as well. So we can get those three going. Um, but yeah, just a just a little cool pop, you know. One of the best pieces I've found though, guys. This one's gonna blow your mind. This right here, guys, take off the bubble wrap here. So this right here, I don't know if you guys can see this. Let's see if that, see all the Pokemon there, 149, Zapdos, Articuno, Snorlax, Aerodactyl. But this right here is actually the 1998 Scorpio Original 151 vintage poster guys this is a sweet sweet pickup i know a few people had these as well and they got them all placked up on their wall and this is in minty minty look at this the seal is still on it and everything guys it even has a sticker you know the little yellow sticker back when you know you had them in the in the cubbies and you pull them out by the sticker number once you're looking through the the plaques the little uh the swinging plaques of them. And I thought this was just a super, super cool find. I mean, just look at it. It's gonna look really good on the wall, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and frame it. I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna break the seal on this bad boy. And I'm gonna frame her um, and hang her up. I'm gonna frame it and hang it up, guys. Hopefully, my Ikea stuff will come by then. I'm definitely, I have a bunch of pieces that I wanna start putting around, guys, and getting the office all set up all nice. Oh. I'm still waiting on Ikea. I got some big cubicles going in the back. Got a huge desk jammer thing going right here. But yeah, it's a work in progress, guys. And I'm glad you guys are along with me for this journey as we're progressing. But yeah, this old 98 vintage 151 poster, guys. I was super excited about that. And then the last thing, I found a local artist, guys. I definitely want to support him. He had some killer pieces. Some... You know, all the Marvel heroes, Spider-Man, you had Hulk, you had um, X-Men, you had Wolverine, you had all sorts of them. But I had to pick up this one piece. I'm a big Venom fan and picked up this from them right here. This is all hand-drawn, guys. I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but it's all hand-drawn Venom Marvel artwork. I mean, just look at that artwork, guys. His name's Air3. He does these hand drawings right here. And I'm definitely gonna get this in a frame. 
I really enjoyed this piece. I think he was selling for like eight bucks, you know? He was a local artist. He had hundreds of them that he had done. And he was right there by Star Comics as well. And I definitely wanted to support him on this. I mean, this is it just looks, this is like some old comic book style um, drawing. And man, I, I, I just love supporting people like that, you know, that there's a lot of hard work and effort that went into this piece and I absolutely love it. So I'm definitely gonna get it framed gonna get that hung up so that's gonna be awesome but yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys it's my birthday tomorrow and I figured I had gone out shopping a little bit and stumbled across some local stores and wanted to check them out but without further ado guys if you guys enjoyed that if you're gonna enjoy this opening we're gonna be getting into some cosmic eclipse working on the master set for the binder hoping to pull that blastoise and pip up hyper rare if you can smash the thumbs up for this one guys it's gonna be a doozy, but without further ado, it's gonna crack into this bad boy. Here we go. All right, guys, we've got the Cosmic Eclipse booster box. Um, if you guys remember, I did get a whole case of these. I believe this is my last booster box. I think I have one more booster box. I think I may keep that one sealed. I don't know. I'm starting to collect a lot of the booster boxes as well. But sometimes I just can't help myself but to open this stuff up, guys. You know, it's meant to be open. So why not just open it, right? But for sure, this is probably the fourth or fifth booster box we've opened for Cosmic Eclipse. The binder is looking muy bien. So definitely can't wait to see what we pull out of this one. See if we get any more spicy pulls for the booster box. But yeah, guys, we'll just set that to the side and we will get right into it. Start off with a Blastoise pack art. Hopefully we'll pull that big boy. Man, I feel like I haven't opened up any cards in a while. I think we had a mail day video and then we had, oh, we had the wing challenge. That one was kind of crazy, you know. Um, so didn't really get to enjoy it, but now I get to enjoy some artworks. Super excited to get into Cosmic Eclipse. This set, if you guys didn't know, had some um, has some amazing artwork. Really great artwork. Golfing, Jobber, Jobber Reverse, and a Heliolisk. Non-holographic. But yeah, this set has some awesome artwork. It has all those character cards. I believe there's 15 of them. We have collected all the character cards so far, so that is definitely cool. Um, but there's still a lot of hyper rares that we gotta get, guys. There's some reverse cards that we gotta get, and whatever we pull from here, from this booster box, we will get it added over to the binder to see where we're at. So stay tuned for that. Phantom, Psyduck, and a Entei non-holographic rare. Just look at that art, guys. This is what I'm talking about. Cosmic Eclipse. Man, I feel like it was kind of, man, it was overlooked. You know, Hidden Fate still had all the glory. Um, And then after that, you know, Sword and Shield came out right after Cosmic Eclipse. So there's a lot of hype around that. Um, I just feel like this one kind of got brushed over super, super quick. And man, it's sad because this is some, this is an amazing set. It really is an amazing set. I really enjoy it. Swirlix, Cricket, it's got the Zard in it too. Man, how can we not even bring up the Zard? Here we go, Lunala Holographic. This may have been one of the holographics that I was actually missing. So that's definitely a good hit for the binder for sure. Well, let's go ahead and get into the next pack, guys. We are chasing. The chase card is going to be that hyper rare Blastoise for me, for sure. I know the Charizard is definitely a big one, um, but that hyper rare Blastoise, whew, we need it. We need it in our lives. Type Null, Island, Dupider, Apom, Onyx, T-Pig, Sandshrew. Oh, here we go. There's a character card. We got the Weevil. And there we go, guys. Look at that. We got the Charizard and Brakeson. 
Very nice, GX. This isn't the hyper rare version, but it is still a Charizard and Brakeson card. Very nice. Oh, look at that artwork. That is super sick. Very cool. Then we had the character card as well. Go ahead and sleeve that one up. I really, I really like these character cards, especially that red one. That is super dope. Put that in the back as well. Let's go ahead and get into our next pack, man. We pulled the Charizard. Look at that. There's your code for it right there. And we've got four to the front. Flipper Rooney, Lightning Bolt, Zangoose, Vaporeon, Roller, Phantom, Grimer, Magnemite, Eevee, Carvana, Sand Slash for the non holographic rare. It's all right. Pretty good hit so far out of only what four packs. Not too shabby at all. There's your code for that one. I hate how they mix the codes up. You know, some packs you open up and you get the green and white back on the inside. Some you open up, you get it on the back. It just, it's never one set way. It's always a guessing game with them codes. Oddish, Ralts, Sandy Gas. Feel oh, Galay for the character card as well. Very sick. Oh, there we go. Rainbow, guys. Yes, is that the rainbow or is that a full art? It's hard to tell with this one with all the colors. I think that's I don't know if that's the lane of full art or is that the rainbow. Man, because the colors are all the rainbow in the back, but the artwork is still in color. So I'm guessing that this is just the trainer full art, Lena. That is a super dope card, though. Look at that. Maybe that is the rainbow. Maybe Cosmic Plus is a little different with the coloring in it. I don't know. I have to check that out. That is very cool, though. I definitely don't have that one. So that's a definitely a nice pick up for sure and we pulled look at that the two hit bangers in the pack man you gotta love the two hit bangers those are just super dope when you can pull it like that let's get into the next pack I have to figure that out I guess I could look at the bottom 231 and 236 so it's not a secret rare very nice All right, whew. still hoping for that Blastoise there's still luck so that is just a full art it's so crazy how that that looks just like like a rainbow rare though, with that background. That is super cool. Deerling, Golet, Dewpiter, Apom, Onyx, Simeon, and a Dragula. Whatever the heck that is. Never even seen that one before. But let's get into the Blastoise pack. Here we go. We'll probably get through half this box, guys, on this one. And then we'll do the binder update and the other half on the next episode guys for sure you know booster boxes these days take over you know 30 minutes or so so but stay tuned for the episode two on that sand shrew snort black Cairo for the reverse okay here we go hey trevenant for the non-holographic rare so yeah guys it's my birthday tomorrow guys turning the big the big 17 guys the big 17 at heart but uh yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do yet i don't know i know the, the wife wants to take the wife and the kids want to take me out to dinner for sure um but i don't know if i'm gonna i mean i mean i'm thinking about doing some live guys i really am thinking about hopping on and opening up maybe ooh, non-holographic rare on that one maybe a hidden face case maybe opening up that maybe not going through all 12 tens in that case but definitely cracking her open maybe breaking the seal on it and opening up some tens for the live and just hanging out kick it have a good time you know i don't know yet maybe open up a vintage pack or something you know you know it's my birthday why not so i don't know we'll see you guys let me know down below if you'd like to hang out either friday or saturday night live guys with me on my birthday for sure, I would definitely want to spend it with y'all guys, man, and kick it with y'all. Y'all have been amazing. I want to thank each and every one of y'all. I know I say it over and over, guys, but I truly mean it. 
Hey, you guys are just awesome, man, to kick it with. Join each and every one of y'all's company, man. But we got a Metal Energy, Zangoose, Vaporeon, Cell, Oddish, Ralts, Sandy Gas, Shviel, Cottony, Gurlup, and a Lantern for the non-holographic red. How is everybody doing? I hope you guys are staying safe, man. What a crazy world out there lately, right? But this is just a place, you know, you can come to just to kick it with the homie, open up Pokemon cards, have a good time, get what you want off your chest. I mean, very nice, man. Not to Palpitoad, Jangamo, Reverse Beastite. Oh, okay, here we go, Elonian Persian GX. I think I may have needed I think that was the last GX card I think I needed as well. Super cool card. Look at that, Elonian Persian. It just don't even look like a normal Persian, though. You know, I'm used to that old Gen 1 Persian, you know, where it's like... It looks mean, you know? I mean, that one looks kind of... Looks kind of soft, you know? Like, you, you wouldn't win really a battle, you know what I mean? But, there's a code for that one. Two, three, four to the front. Flip a Ruski, and we've got a Dark Energy. Kyurla, Bishar, Torkoal, Ponyta, Crab Barler, Carvana, Azrul, Mimikyu hiding behind a tree looking good, and ooh, a Lonely and Ninetales holographic. Very gorgeous. Look at that. Look at the shine in that one. Oh, man. This is something about a Ninetales that is just refreshing. You know, if you guys feel that, you know, the Ninetales, it's like. Oh, you look at you like, oh, that's a Pokemon right there, you know? Not these crazy ones, you know? You got the nose passes and the clanks and some weird ones these days, man. Some weird Pokemon these days for sure. Listed Leaf Energy, Tag Call, Palpitoad, Jangamo, Deerling, Golit, Dewpider, Hidupatal for the reverse and a... Crawdilly for the non-holographic rare. How's the mic sounding, guys? How is the mic sounding? I got a new mic. Um, just kind of starting to do minor upgrades here and there. Especially to get ready if I'm going to go live, you know, guys. I wanted, wanted to get a better mic and everything. Um, but, yeah, let me know down below if it sounds good. Of course, I'll do some editing to make sure that it turned out okay. But tell me what you guys think. Pipluck, Cosmog. Ponyta, Crab Brawler, Carvana, Grimer for the reverse, and a Fino. Fino? What is it? Fino? Fino? And just some weird Pokemon these days, man. I want... You know what they need to do? You know what Pokemon needs to do? Pokemon needs to recreate the rocket set, guys. Like a rocket returns again, you know? Something like that. They need to make another rocket set. That would be absolutely dope. That would probably be the most hype I think you'd see since the last rocket. I mean, Rocket is definitely a fan favorite. It had some awesome artworks, had a new spin on things, you know. Weevil for the reverse and a beware non-holographic rare. I think they for sure should do that. But here we go, here's our next pack right here. The new set though, guys, super excited for that one. That Blaze set, it's gonna have the Zard in it so we can all go Zard hunting for the next modern set, which is gonna be pretty cool. There's our favorite Pokemon there, Nose Pass, Flabebe, Spiel, Cosmog Reverse, and a Lycanroc Holographic. Pretty cool, pretty cool. See how many packs we got coming up on 20 minutes, so definitely Next big hit, we'll probably wrap it up, guys, and open the rest of the booster box. We're about halfway right now, anyways, for the next episode. And we'll do the binder update as well, guys. Super excited about the binder, man. It's just something just so refreshing when you open a binder and see a master set, guys. Uh. And, oh, Decidueye. Decidueye holographic. Very nice. Getting some different holographics now. That's pretty cool. Let's get into one more, guys, to see what we can pull from this. Let me count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we're exactly at the halfway part with this pack right here. One, two, three, four to the front. And we've got Water Energy, Tangrowth, Lily, Clay, Scrope, Pikachu, Teddy Ursa, Nose Pass, Litleo, Lonely and Volpex for the reverse, and a Bravery non-holographic. We can't go out like that. Let's get one more hit. Come on, what can we do? We're still looking for that secret rare in a box. Usually about every box has a secret rare, whether it's a gold or a hyper. So we're still looking for that. We got an Illicit Leaf Energy, Celio, Draw Energy, Trap Pinch, Flebe, Tangela, Duskull, Time Pole, Time Pole Reverse, and a Ursaring. Non-holographic. Last one, guys. All right, last one. Last one. This is the last one right here for us. There's your code for it. Hope you get something spicy in it, guys. Four to the front. And we've got Water Energy, Draw Energy, Cosmome, Clay, Duskull, Time Pull, Piplup, Cosmog, Ponyta, Rock Ruff for the reverse, and Oh, all right, guys. Arceus, Diaga, and Pacquia GX. Looking sharp. Look at that tag team car. Arceus, Diaga, and Pacquia, man. Look at that, guys. The hits were coming. We're still missing that hyper rare, though, guys. That gold or rainbow rare. I'm super excited for when we get into that to see if we can get something good at it. Let's get a quick recap right here. This first half of the opening. Lena, Weevil, Charizard and Brakeson, Lonely and Persian, Gallade, Lunala Holographic, Sidui Holographic, Mike and Rock Holographic, Lonely and Ninetales Holographic, Look at that, guys. Outstanding first half of the box, guys. Stay tuned for the next episode, guys, when we finish off the rest of this booster box and add what we pull from it into the master set. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for stopping by. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up for me on that. And until the next one, guys, play on game on. I'm out. Peace.